What sucks is you understand that when it comes to races, when it comes to political races, whatever those races may be, there's the story the public sees, and then there's the story behind the story. Here's what I mean. Here's what I mean. Right now, obviously, a lot of people are focused on the presidential race in 2024. Ah, it's Trump versus Biden. It's all these other things. And here's what normal people do. You don't do this, but here's what normal people do. Well, Joe Biden, um, his e economic views are unpopular. And his border views are unpopular. So he's probably in trouble. But you know, you follow politics. There's always a story behind the story. And one of the ugly things about politics, one of the worst things about politics, is money. Now, let me pause there for a moment. Just because it's ugly and horrible doesn't mean it's ever going to go away. So don't ever say, ever, 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 definitely don't say it to me. Let's get the money out of politics. What? You're never going to get the money out of politics. Money's been in politics since tribes were electing their local chieftain and you had to buy someone an extra cow to get their vote. Money is involved in politics and it ain't ever going to change no matter what you do. The amount of money these candidates raise matters. Now, why does money matter in politics? Let's be clear about this. Well, if everyone was like you, it wouldn't matter. What do I mean by like you? You're informed. You're an informed voter. You're sitting here right now watching me on the first TV. You have options today, endless options. Flipping through your television, anything on your phone, endless options, you're watching me. You're hyper-informed. The money they raise is not for you. You're going to know the issues. You're going to know the candidates. I don't need to come. If I'm running for office, I don't need to uh, run a TV commercial during the football game you're watching. You already know me. You know the enemy. You, you know it. This is for the people who actually decide elections. These weird people, I don't understand. Maybe you understand them, I never have. These independents, I voted for Obama twice and then I voted for Trump the first time, but then I voted for Biden. These are real people. These people actually exist. That's who the money is for. This person is not hyper-informed. These are low info voters. They vote on how they feel. They vote on the television ads they see, the online ads they see, that's what the money's for. Joe Biden has a super PAC. I saw this. This is one of those things that went right by everybody. It did not go right by me. They just made the largest ad purchase in the history, well, of television, I guess I should say. I was about to say in the history of the country, but I guess that would predate things. Anyway, in the history of the country, the largest ad purchase. And so this is why I tend to be dismissive when people say, Jesse, American people aren't going to vote in Joe Biden again. I mean, after all, he can't even talk. The beer brewed here. <laughs> it is used to make the brew beer. <laughs> it's the final. Oh, Earth Rider, thanks for the Great Lakes. I wonder why he's talking about What? I beat you, beat you, beat you. What? And look, everyone knows Joe Biden can't function. And yes, there are concerns in Democrat circles about Biden. They know they can't go to Dome. A lot of you have seen this undercover video from James O'Keefe. I work for my office up So you're, you're pretty high up in the government. Yeah, I'm fairly high up. I'm good at keeping secrets. And so I manage two federal agencies, mm -hmm. the State Department and USAID. Is she going to be the, the nominee? Yes. And she will be the vice president nominee. Yeah, I don't... There was a debate about removing her from the ticket, but sadly they didn't. She can't keep black the staff. Fuck? They quit on her in mass. But with him, I yeah, mean, I know. I know. he's got I know. dementia. Um, yeah, well, he's definitely slowing down. But they won't say it. Well, I guess if they say it publicly, Correct. That Biden they is, publicly. is uh, no, no. they can't say it publicly. No, no, they've got to they got to they say it line. privately? I'm just telling just, you what I've heard. Like, you're, just, yep. you're just telling me the truth. Does it make sense? No, but that's, I mean, that's what I've heard. <laughs> I've had a meeting with Michelle Obama at one point when I was an intern, and someone asked her, will you ever run for office? And she said no, emphatically. Really? I've seen all the shit my husband has had to go through, and that does not interest me. Yeah. Uh, one, 
Funniest part of that video is the dude who's on video spilling all the tea, bragging in the beginning that he's the one in charge of keeping secrets. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's talk about this. Yes, Joe Biden can't talk. Yes, they've had talks about removing him. But Democrats have a machine in place, a political machine in place. They have the money. They have the organization. And a guy can deny it all they want, all he wants. Michelle Obama is starting to make noise. She is starting to be more vocal. She's appearing on podcasts. Every other day there's an article here. And we now know because of these weird DNC rules, they can go through their entire primary pro process, and they very clearly are. And then for whatever reason Joe Biden decides to resign before the convention, they can then just nominate whoever they please at the convention. And the thing about that is all that money, all that organization, the volunteers, the everything, it's just kind of plug and play for Michelle. Joe Biden may be old and non-functional and crappy, but that brings us to this. The American people, oh, pains me to say it, they like Michelle Obama. I do not. I despise that America-hating hag. But the American people, they don't know that about her. You know that about her. You're hyper-informed. You understand who she is. You understand how awful she is. You understand all that. But the regular people who decide elections do not. Whether it's Joe Biden or whether they plug into Michelle Obama, I have concerns about some of the basic structure of 2024. They have so much more money than us, and they're so much better organized. That's why I don't look at all the new polls that come out. Biden's down five, and I don't get giddy and start clapping. I hope they're right, right? I hope everything works out. I don't know. And I think about, I think about how voters don't learn lessons. They really, truly don't. Voters, human beings, were famous for divorcing our choices from the results of those choices. You see this guy, Brandon Johnson, in Chicago? Chicago's an absolute war zone. It's a war zone in and of itself. They're passing ceasefire resolutions for Israel? But at this point now, uh, I believe we're looking at 25,000 Palestinians that have been killed um, uh, during this, this war. And... Um, the killing has to stop. So, yes, we need to cease fire. Here's the thing. He's going to be reelected. Remember, I make mistakes every election cycle, and I'm not going to make it this election cycle, and I don't want to I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but I want to make sure you know the mistake I make every time because maybe you make the same mistake. I sit back and I look at the horror of the Democrats. I hate Republicans too, you know that, but Democrats really are evil now in this country. What they push is really, it's really gross. It's really evil. And I say to myself, man, the American people, they're going to reject this. They've had enough of this. Yeah. Remember that red wave we were supposed to have? 2022, remember the red wave that turned into the red drip? I don't know that the American people are going to be able to withstand the ad buy money because, let's be honest, you voted for this, this campaign we're on? We're on the campaign because people don't know. <laughs> they don't take ownership of their vote. Are they going to take ownership and vote the opposite way next time? I don't know. I hope so. I'll believe it when I see it. All that may have made you uncomfortable, but I am right.